All righty. I'm going to go through the C major and the A melodic minor scales for you to practice along and check yourself. And then I'm going to play the first three lines of Lesson Quintain so you can see what's happening in terms of the timing of those little ornaments and all the bowings. Here we go. So go ahead and check your bow hole and take a nice deep breath. Okay, starting with C major, nice and slow. One and two and three and four and. So for Lesson Quintain, it starts quiet, so I would definitely be here, not totally at the tip, but more so about here. And um, then you can stay in the upper half until you have a little crescendo in measure four, or sorry, measure five, and then we'll go back down and when it repeats, it goes quiet again. So we'll try to really follow the dynamics carefully from the start. So you're not practicing with weird dynamics or weird bowings, okay? So start right here in the upper middle part of the bow. And we'll go, I'll do it nice and slow first so you can watch my bowing. And then I'll do it again with my fingers up close in case you want to watch my fingers, okay? One and two. <laughs> And that last shift is optional. And that last shift, you'll see there's a second finger on that measure 16. And that second finger on measure 16, that's just there so that you can make it really quiet. The open A is pretty loud by itself. So if you play it in third position on the D string, it's just easier to be quiet. So that's why that shift is there. It might seem kind of weird. Like, why would you even shift? 
when you can play open A. So that one's optional. If you don't shift, just play extra quiet because it's easy to make the open A loud. All right, I'm going to do that again and up close so you can watch my fingers. I'm going to move my computer though so I can see my see it and not make any little mistakes. And Megan, I want to apologize, Megan. I think I wasn't looking at the music when we were doing this. Um, the grace notes. There's two grace notes. And so it is going to start on the E and go back to the E. So I think I was having you do, that, do this. And that's wrong. It should be. So you start on the E and then return to it. Like that, except it'll be quieter. All right, so here it is again, but a little closer up so you can watch my fingers if it helps. So I'll start in the upper middle. One and two. Sorry, that was really out of tune. Let me do it again. One and two. go sorry it's hard to play in tune when I'm leaning over like that but I hope that's helpful so you can see exactly where the shifts are so ladies please let me know if you need anything enjoy this music it's a beautiful piece and I hope you really really like it bye bye